what's going on guys next out JS is a complete open source authentication solution for next JS applications and the solution is designed to work with any OAuth service you can integrate next out JS with OAuth 1.0 and 2.0 services I'm going to leave the link here to a video where I explain how to set up next out JS in a next JS application in this video I'm going to show you how to integrate next out with slack to sign in into our next JS application using that platform don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and let's get started. This is our next JS application where we have this catch all route for next out. I'm going to put a link here where I explain how this strategy works. And here we are going to add a new provider. So this is providers. And in this case, we're going to degrade a Slack. We need to pass an object here with two things, the client ID and the client secret. And here we're going to use an environment variable. So this is process.env. And this will be Slack client ID. And for the client secret, we're going to use another environment variable. So this is process.env. Slack client secret. And I'm going to copy these variable names into our end file. So I'm going to paste that here and the same for the client secret. Okay, now let's go to Slack's administration panel to create a new app so that we can get our client ID and client secret. Okay, after we sign in into our Slack account, we need to go to api.slack.com and we need to click on create a custom app. Okay, and here we need to enter the application name. Next out integration app. And we need to select a workspace. I already added a workspace here that is pragmatic reviews. So I'm going to select that one. And now I'm going to click on create app. Okay, our new application has been created. We need to scroll down a little bit. And from here we can get the client ID that I'm going to copy from here and I'm going to paste it here in our environment variable for the Slack client ID. And now I'm going to grab the secret from here. I'm going to copy this value and I'm going to paste it here. Here we need to go to auth and permissions. And here we need to add a new redirect URL. So this is HTTP. This is localhost 3000 slash API slash out slash callback slash slack. I'm going to click on add and I'm going to click on save URLs. Okay, now let's run our next series application and let's try to sign in with Slack. Okay, let's open a new terminal and let's run the application. npm run dev. Okay, let's go to the browser. I'm going to click here on the link. I'm going to click on sign in and now I'm going to click on sign in with Slack. Okay, and here we need to allow access to our application to connect with Slack. So here it says Nextout Integration App is requesting permission to access the Pragmatic Review Slack workspace. What will Nextout Integration App be able to view? Content and info about you, view information about your identity, view your email address, view your Slack avatar. I'm going to click on allow. Okay, and here I sign in as info at pragmaticreviews.com. This is the email of my Slack account. And if we go to database, let's refresh this. And here we're going to find in the accounts collection, we're going to find this document with this new provider, with this identifier. And if you go to sessions, we're going to find a new session with this token that we can find here. If you go to application, cookies, Next out session token is actually this one. And if we go to the users collection, and here we're going to find the name of the user, the email, and the avatar URL. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.